Welcome back, everyone. Now it's the part of the show where we feature your photos and comments from social media. It's called The Buzz. And we love it because it gets the buzz going, it gets you kind of energized, and we're just keeping the theme of fitness today. Mm -hmm. So if you want to contribute a video, contribute whatever you'd like, funny, silly, emotional, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Coastal Living TV, and you can send us a message, tag us, whatever you want. We're best friends. Just utilize Absolutely. that on social media. And we have Dr. Chad sitting in on this segment mm -hmm. once again because I know he has a lot to say, especially... This, yeah, this yeah. stuff I love. Yes, yep. especially after the workouts we were just talking about. Yep. And I just want to say what we're about to watch, anybody can do it. This is going to definitely encourage you. And mm -hmm. if, if she can do it, you can do it. And we got to check it out. All right, let's see. So I hurt my ankle trying that at the park like two days ago. <laughs> oh, um, see, now that upper body strength is unbelievable. Yep. Chad, how often do you see this in your profession, people you know, that are at this age and that I will tell you this, in a decade, this isn't going to be amazing news. Mm -hmm. the, the, the world's going to split into the very healthy and the very unhealthy, and there's going to be very little in the middle. This yeah. is exceptional right um, now. I think 20 years ago it would have been even more amazing, but we're seeing more and more of this all the time. My women that come into the clinic in their 60s and 70s, they're still hot. Yeah. you got to love that. Yeah. Like, that's how it's supposed to be. There's, yeah. no, there's no reason to just, like, you're just old now. You hit a certain number and you're old. Exactly. This woman is 73 years it. old, guys. And you, like you said, that cliche, like, oh, after whatever is in your brain, 40, 50, 60, oh, after that age, it all goes downhill. And you just don't have it anymore. We still hear it. You have it as long as you're using it, basically. Gotta keep moving. Yep. Right? What yep. is it? If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. For sure. <laughs> so keep it going. What's your advice for someone who wants to end up like well, this I woman? Well, I think we hear it. I hear, and I, and I preach about this, and I lecture about it, and have podcasts and whatever about it, but doctors get to that, well, you're just getting a little bit older now. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah. They say that to the 20 year olds that are in college too. Mm -hmm. And it's, no. it's, it's ridiculous. If you don't maintain and work on your stuff, it's going to get older, just like Absolutely. if you don't take care of your truck. Mm -hmm. But if you do the right stuff to keep it going, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep running. And you can, the science out there is that you get better. You can keep getting better. There is no downhill as long as you don't stop. Yeah. We just don't have enough numbers of people doing it. So hopefully that inspires people and gets oh, them out there absolutely. doing it. Absolutely. It inspired me because mm -hmm. I feel like I don't lift as many heavy weights as I should. Mm -hmm. And that's something I definitely want to work on for our future uh, fitness segments. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. definitely setting a goal for exactly. yourself. And it's not that you should, because who says you should? It's what you set for yourself. So instead of comparing ourselves to others and thinking, oh, well, if she's doing it, I should do it too. Right. It's really a matter of like, my goal, and I didn't get to achieve it last year, was like, I want to squat this certain amount and be able to do this many pull-ups cool. with the unassisted pull-ups, right. right? So I'm starting over this year because I just fell off the wagon right. at the end of the year. Did I fail? Do I suck at working out? Should I quit? No. Absolutely not. It's just an opportunity to reset, right. reset those goals. Maybe cool. they were too unrealistic and I need to go back and reevaluate it and say, okay, maybe three pull-ups mm -hmm. instead of 10 or whatever it might be. And how do I get there? You project it, right? You schedule success. So, as you mentioned, this is something that's sort of going to split it's, in the It's future. already happening. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's already happening. There's a huge rift, just like there was economically in a lot of places. Yeah. There's not a lot of middle class. That's what you're going to see in health. Exactly. And it's people choosing, like, sorry, I like that. Some people just want it easy. They want to go through the drive-thru. They want the extra mm. fries and the large soda. Yep. They want to park front row yeah. at the grocery store. But, well, no, but the other yourself. end of that is what I see in the clinic as a, as a doctor, as a chiropractor, it's not easy. That yeah. is a really, really hard lifestyle. Yes. Those guys are in pain. It's effort to get out of bed. It's effort to go change the laundry. Like yes. that, it's not easy. Exactly. They think it's easy and it's, it's not. The, exactly. the better way is staying in shape and looking like this lady. Right, absolutely. So it's something that we can all achieve if you're not already on the right track today. Today's show should have absolutely inspired okay. you to get that little fire in your life. So thank you, Chad, for joining us on this segment. It's been great. That was really exactly fun. my my thing. And super inspiring. Okay, so we're not done getting inspired. We're taking a look local at some of the amazing things happening in the coastal bend when we come back. Stick around. Want to be featured on Coastal Living? Post a pic on our Facebook or Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living.